In a moment you'll see a video of the Einbach Chopstar row crop cultivator uh, a, complete with a row guard optical guidance system uh, in use on an organic farm in Wisconsin, Otter Creek Organic and also on the Frank Lloyd Wright farm. This is the actual machine uh, which consists of a, a series of sweeps and uh, finger weeders on the back. There are the sweeps between the rows. Now the disc uh, cutaways are in the raised position because the crop is too mature to use them, but those discs allow you to cut the soil away from the row and then throw it back into the row. You, the machine is equipped with the optical guidance system and, and that's that pole you see coming right at us on the left hand side. There it is right there. With two eyeballs if you will and that's connected to a computer and what that does is distinguish between planned and random. Um, now normally this machine is used when the crops are, 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 are much smaller, just emerging, so that as you with a human eye can distinguish a row, it can distinguish a row. So this will allow uh, cultivation in much younger, smaller crops at a, uh, a tolerance, a, a setting closer to the plant and at speeds that have never been seen before. Again, that's the optical part of the guidance system on that vertical pole mounted on the essentially the right side of the uh, of the cultivator it's just gone past us um, this is the left side of the machine uh, with with no guidance because uh, all we need is one set of eyes and focusing on one two or three rows the more rows it can focus on the better uh, in fact uh, this machine will be uh, We'll, we'll have a bracket made for it so the, the camera, the eyes, will lie between two rows instead of on top of one row. It performs better that way. But this just shows some of the uh, corn that's been just cultivated. By the way, um, the, the day previous to this, this is early July, the reason we're in the field this late in the season is very simply um, the order was placed uh, too late uh, to get it here any earlier. But uh, the ideal is this would have been on the farm as soon as every field of corn and soybeans uh, started to show a row, if you will. Um, but it's important to get to know the machine. In this case, we're getting to know it uh, a year ahead of time. Uh, you'll notice uh, the finger weeders are just like actually with any many aspects of cultivation are are no better than the operator's ability to keep the cultivator where it belongs with this optical guidance system and hydraulic side shift mechanism uh, the tractor can wander roughly 15 inches either way of a center line the center line is where the tractor should be when the cultivator is exactly where it belongs. But that's it's rare that that happens. So what with the hydraulic side shift mechanism that attaches to the tractor and then the cultivator attaches to the side shift mechanism, uh, there's a process of, of constant readjustment uh, to make sure the cultivator stays exactly where it belongs. As I say, with this guidance system, uh, it, it sort of really doesn't care where the tractor is within, within, within 15 inches of a center line. It doesn't care where the tractor is. Its job is focusing on the plant rows and then keeping the cultivator exactly where it belongs. Um, it's being used in many vegetable crops as well as corn and soybeans. Uh, it can be used essentially in almost any, any uh, row crop situation. Again, you'll see some of the weed pressure there in the row. Um, by the way, this, uh, this field should have been cultivated weeks ago, but it was an exceptionally, we had an especially, especially wet May and June. It was difficult to make dry hay. We had rain every other day, every third day at least. So this is the, the weed pressure you see here is because 
uh, no cultivator has been in this field for a long time. Uh, there was a, an Einbach tineweeder on the farm, but I don't believe they had a chance to use it in this field. As I say, it just was so wet that doing anything was a challenge really just before this day. We've now moved from Otter Creek Organic uh, to the Frank Lloyd Wright Taliesin uh, Farm, Taliesin East, in Spring Green, Wisconsin. Uh, many of you know the history of Frank, Frank Lloyd Wright and, and his contribution to American architecture. And this is his first uh, farming venture, what they call Taliesin East in Spring Green, Wisconsin. This shows the pond that he made for rearing his own fish and swimming in. As the story goes, there are many, uh, many uh, celebrities came out here, but uh, no work, no food. You had to work in order to eat. And they had extensive uh, 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 vegetable gardens. Uh, they had, uh, this shows a, a current vegetable garden on the farm. But uh, many of the buildings on the farm that are are, are unique are, are were meant to provide uh, cover for dairy, beef, uh, pork, poultry, sheep. They had probably every animal uh, known to man on the farm because it was meant to be a self-sustaining community. I believe they may have started in the 20s, but I know for sure that they were fully functional as an educational uh, facility architecture first and foremost, but then also, uh, uh, you know, rural rural living, self sustainability. Uh, this is once again the same machine you saw a moment ago on Otter Creek Organic. Uh, it's now one day later, and we're on the uh, Taliesin farm in soybeans. We'll try to do a better job of focusing on the side shift mechanism. So whenever I zero in on the top link of the tractor, you'll see how the side shift mechanism is constantly making adjustments to keep the cultivator uh, on the row exactly where it belongs. There's one of the buildings of historic significance in the background. It's in pretty rough shape, but uh, it, they, they had every animal known to man, not every animal, but uh, everything you, you would normally find in Wisconsin was on this farm. Notice the speed with which we're going. Again, uh, because of the maturity of the, of the uh, crop, the argument could be made other cultivators could go this fast, even, let's say, with a wand-type uh, uh, guidance system, the type that, uh, let's say, Buffalo uses with their scout guidance system. Uh, so, so this is not as great a challenge for this cultivator as what it would be if the crop were very, very young, where you can just uh, barely, uh, you, you can distinguish the row, because again, the, the computer part of this uh, separates random from planned, and as soon as you can see a row, it should be able to function properly. Again, what you'll see here is the main residence. Uh, I, I wasn't able to get any closer than this, but Frank was known for a complicated roof line, lots of different floors, but uh, this is the beginning of his American school of, uh, of architecture. These, uh, everything you've seen on, on the Otter Creek Organic and, and the uh, Frank Lloyd Wright Taliesin Farm is certified organic. Uh, I can't say when these were cultivated last, but uh, um, as you can see, I, I know they've not been walked but they're, they're very, very clean. The corn ground is on slightly uh, less, uh, slightly poor drainage ground than this ground. So, uh, in fact, when we were in the field yesterday at Otter Creek Organic, we delayed for 24 hours our cultivating efforts because there was still standing water in part of the field. In a little while here, you'll see some ground that was... Uh, uh, by the way, there's the side shift mechanism showing the the efforts uh, of the guidance system to compensate for for the uh, wandering of the tractor, if you will. 
again that's another shot of the main residence with solar panels I don't know if those are photovoltaic or, or for heating domestic water or what exactly they're for but uh, uh, do your homework great great uh, Wisconsin uh, 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 you know uh, person and uh, great architect again this shows the uh, the optical the two eyes focused on, on one row. We're going to move the camera into the middle between those two, the two outside rows, so between rows five and six, let's say, or one and two, as it were, so that we have uh, uh, even better uh, uh, control. The more rows, the, the, the more calculations it can make to keep the cultivator exactly where it belongs. Again, there's not a lot of weed pressure out here, but uh, uh, the figure weeders really did a nice job of going into the row, which is their roll. The finger weeders, you want to go in and, and almost touch the roots of the of the soybean plant to uh, uh, dislodge uh, weeds that uh, that allow themselves to be dislodged. You'll notice the cutaway discs are in the raised position because of the height of the crop. In a very young crop, those would be down. Um, again, there's the side shift mechanism functioning, making constant adjustments for a little wandering of the tractor. And this allows a, a tolerance, an exactness, a closeness to the row uh, that's never been experienced before at a speed that people have never seen before. Additionally, cultivating 24-7 is now possible with the addition of, a, uh, of enough lighting for the operator to see where he is, enough lighting for the, for the optical eyes to see the row, uh, possibly with the addition of, a, of, of lighting behind the cultivator, focusing on the, the already then cultivated row uh, with a mon an additional monitor in the tractor, uh, cultivating around the clock will be possible. So you'll be able to go these speeds at, at night. This uh, may not appeal to some people in a high hu humidity area where they depend more upon oh, the dryness, uh, the low humidity later on in the day, in the middle part of the day, but in the west where it's sort of dry all the time, um, this, this will play a significant role. Uh, it's still not as fast as, as quote, spraying, but it, it's reaching an output per day that uh, has never, uh, that's never been obtainable before, and an accuracy that's never been obtainable before. It's been a long time coming since we put a man on the moon. Uh, it's surprising that, uh, that it that it's taken this long for somebody to apply uh, this sort of engineering skill to uh, row crop cultivating. Uh, these are used in, in many, many vegetable crops as well as your field crops. More information to follow.